Shalom, Yah Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yahshua. Call Haloyim La, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakaku, Dash for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwap that's keeping the faith in the work. Shout keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. Right? Um, hey, scripture tell us um, that we really, you know, roughly are supposed to take heed to how we are in this world. It tells us that we are a light, a light to the world. It tells us that we are separate from the world. So we must make sure that we are trying to be so to the best of our abilities. And I know the phrase to the best of our abilities ruffles a lot of feathers when it comes to certain people in the truth. Or, you know, certain people that, well, yeah, certain people in the truth. Because uh, some people say, well, you know, God don't, he don't allow you to make no mistakes. If you say that you got to keep his word, then that means you can't offend that none. I mean, well, to that I say, when the Most High gave us the laws, right, fresh out of my child's hands, yeah, if you broke that law, you know what I'm saying, especially if you got found, then you got put to death. That's why scripture tells us that we are not saved by the law. That's why Yahweh I had to come in the first place to allow us a chance to give our best at trying to be as righteous as we possibly can. In doing so, you don't want to spit in the face of Yahweh Shai by just doing your own thing because you say, well, we're not under the, we not under the laws no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's a lot of people that had that mindset telling what I know. And I'm sure you know too. Right? A lot of people got that mindset of, well, Scripture says that, you know, the old covenant is fading away, so if the old covenant is fading away, that means we in the new. Nah, that means we in grace. Right? Which is a chance to give your best ability to the Most High. Right? In the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? Scripture says in the book of in the book of Ephesians that the Most High chose us, Most High willing, right, His elect, before the world even began. So before the world even began, you were going to be considered righteous, and a righteous individual understands that in order for him to be even called righteous, it goes beyond you just being Israel. Right? Because the Most High also calls two thirds of his people wicked. So it, uh, it ultimately cannot, it can't mean, you know what I'm saying? As long as you Israel, you good, it can't mean that. It must mean that certain scriptures are, are, are appointed to the elect, and certain scriptures are appointed to uh, the wicked of the Most High's people that choose to do their own thing. But at the end of the day, um, like I said, this is really just an uh, exhortation to try to do your best, man. Try to be your best and don't let this world, um, don't let this world take you down. Scripture tells us we should keep our minds on things above and not on things on this earth. Rough to paraphrase. Right? So keep your eyes on the prize, man. Right, stay focused and, and try to maintain yourself in the midst of, in the midst of all of this nonsense because it's, it's gonna get worse, man. It's gonna get way worse. I, uh, um, you know, the brothers have been paying attention um, to global economics, um, the daughter of Babylon's economic woes that don't look like it's gonna get better no time soon, and it's it's looking that way because it's on purpose, right? 20, 2023 it seems to be the year that the image of the beast is like it is it's speaking it's like real life 
is here, right? And they're making like major moves to make sure that that is so. One major move is crashing, crashing uh, econ uh, economies, right? Crashing economies so that you can present a solution of a, a digital currency. And that digital currency will be tied into um, surveillance, right? Control, right? Because the devil understands if they can control a dollar, mean that means they can control what you eat. They can get control where you, how, where you stay. They can control how you live, and they know that, right? So. I say, man, um, I may do another video later, Spirit, well, Most High Willer, but um, I just I just had to get that off my chest, man. The Most High been real life dealing with me, and he been dealing with me through the apostles, man, and, and the elders of, of Yasharala, uh, mainly out of GMS, um, going into um, what is grace? You know what I mean? Grace is really the most high allowing you to deal with him through his Holy Spirit. And you seeing that and recognizing that and giving all praise, honor and glory to the most high in that and living that and walking in that. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing. That's the beauty of the most high, man. Right? Because, man, when I was younger, I didn't foresee myself being this, you know what I'm saying? Like, getting into the scriptures like that and really taking the word serious. I didn't see that, man. But the Most High chose me before before I was born. He knew me in the womb, like it said in, in uh, I believe it's Jeremiah. Before I, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, right? I can recall me having um, the Most High blessing me with visions and dreams years before I came into the truth. And he was allowing me to see that he wasn't a so-called white man, right? He was also telling me in these dreams and visions, I got you. And I couldn't understand what that what that meant. Like I said, when I was when I was younger, when I was way younger, man, I had these dreams like in my 20s. I'm in my 40s right now, right? So I couldn't understand what it meant, but now I understand it. That's grace, man. The most high allowing you to deal with him and even though you go through your ups and downs and you go through your, you know, your turmoil and you go through, you know, it'd be, it be different demons that, that, you know, try to basically try to knock you off your, uh, I don't want to say square, but they be trying to knock you out, out of, out of uh, the arms of the most high. Right? It's like the book of Job. Satan going to and fro trying to see who he can devour. And, and Yahweh is like, hey, have you tried my servant to buy it? Or have you tried my servant da da da? Right? And the reason why the Most High is allowing it to happen, well, first and foremost, Scripture tells us in the book of Sirach, chapter 2, uh, when you come to serve the Lord, when you come to serve Yahweh, prepare our soul for temptation. So it's already understood when you come into the truth and come to the knowledge of the truth, then that knowledge is going to get tested. You, your operation of wisdom in said knowledge is going to be tested to see which way you're going to go, right? But if the Most High is taking you through that and you are and you are of His elect, He's taking you through it because He you know you can handle it. He know, matter of fact, just like it said in the Book of Job, you can do whatever you want to Him, just don't kill Him. Like, do whatever you want to Him, just don't take it to the point to where my Holy Spirit ain't dealing with Him no more. Right? And how about Shema Shah Ratazah, man? That's how it is. Uh, with me and you, if you're listening, no matter what, the Most High won't allow His Holy Spirit to be taken away. Right? You should be praying for that, too. You know, constantly. Baba Yahweh, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. You know? Um, in fact, allow, allow more of it to enter into me, enter into my life. And those that are around me, you know, because I don't, I don't, I don't hang with everybody, you know. Scripture says, "Can two or three walk together except they be agreed?" Right. So I don't kick it with everybody, you know. I do what I got to do at work, 
You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I go, you know, when I go out to with my family or whatever, they may have a, a, a feast for, uh, just for the GP really, cause they ain't, see, they ain't seen me in so long cause I don't celebrate uh, Christmas or, you know, any other hell of days. I don't celebrate none of that. So, uh, you know, my, my family that really care about me, they make, they go out of their way to make sure that they spend time, you know what I'm saying? Because they, if you really in the truth and you really operating in the spirit, man, they gonna call, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I don't celebrate that no more. So if you wanna see me, or if you wanna kick it with me, hey, it ain't got to be on them days. You can call me up whenever, as long as it ain't on Shabbat, <laughs> long as it ain't on the new moon, or, or the, or the uh, you know, the holiday, or the holy days, rather. It's all good, right? But that, like I said, it goes into, you know, doing your thing, doing, doing it to the best of your ability, you know? You gotta really try to be as righteous as you can, man. That's all, that's all the most high requires. Faith in your effort equates righteousness, man. That's the beauty of Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shai. Because he understood we cannot keep them laws, man. We can't do it. it. If scripture tell you that your thoughts, wicked thoughts equate sins, how can you control what come into your mind? How can you control a thought that enters into your head and it's counted sin for you? Scripture tells us preparations in the heart and man and the else of the tongue from the Lord. How, how can you control that, man? All right? Yahweh said, I came and broke that thing all the way down, man. It, sin really started in your mind. All right? But like I said, that's the beauty of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. He gave us a chance. So, I said, man, long story short, man, now we're not in the new covenant. We're in the grace period leading up into the new covenant. When you, when you speak about the new covenant, you're talking about some wonderful things. And I don't see no wonderful things that's spoken of in the scripture as, as it pertains to a new covenant happening on this earth in this wicked ass world that belongs to Esau Edom. Right? Like it says in the book of First Corinthians chapter 15, we're going to get new bodies. Right? Hebrews, uh, what's that? I believe it's chapter 8. Most of us say he's going to give us a new mind. Right? We ain't gonna have to teach. Know the Lord no more is gonna be in all of us. We're gonna be known as a nation of kings and priests. Was that uh first Peter 2 and 6, I believe? I could be wrong. All right? But we're gonna be known as a nation, not individuals, but as a nation of kings and priests. That ain't going on in this world, man. All these niggas are no. Uh-uh. We ain't in a new covenant yet, man. The new covenant mean we in the kingdom, bro. That's what the new covenant mean. Right? The new covenant mean Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on this earth doing his thing. <laughs> right? And we and we've got we've gotten our fame. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. Yes, the old is fading away like it says in the book of Hebrews, but it ain't gone. Or decaying, I believe that's the phrase. Decaying away. So if something is decaying, that don't mean it's gone. It's still there. It's just leaving. All right? But in the meantime, between time, we got grace. Grace enough to get our faith up. All right? And how about you, man? I was to Zah. Our faith is enough to move mountains. Our faith is enough to allow, uh, well, our faith is enough to endure to the end and be saved. But only Yahweh knows that. Alright? Only Yahweh knows that. So, I say, man, there's an exhortation to make sure you keep the faith, man. And make sure you 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 work, man. Make sure you faithfully work. I ain't, I ain't talking about no 9 to 5 job. Even though scripture does say a man that don't work him uh, is counted. No, nah, a man don't work him eat. And a man don't, that don't take care of his family is counted less than an infidel. So you got to work. But the work I'm talking about is feeding the sheep. All right, first you gotta make sure you feed yourself right. All right, you gotta watch who you who's feeding you. All right, 
Cause like I said, there's so many individuals out there who think, I'm talking about so-called in the truth. So many individuals out there who think that, well, we under we we not under the old covenant no more. We under the, the uh, new covenant, so I can do it. Literally, I can do whatever it is I want to do. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to birthdays, I can go to the birthday party. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I, I'm just going to whatever the hell, <laughs> all right? I can go. Um, I can basically I can you basically the same person you was before. But you just got knowledge. All right? That's it. You you have knowledge of the truth, but you're not operating in wisdom. That's a different that's a whole that's a whole different ball game right there, man. To have knowledge is one thing. To have wisdom is a whole nother. You can know what it's saying in the word all day. But if you're not doing what it say to do in the word that you know, what's the purpose? What is the purpose? Just straight like that. All right? You took your hand out the plow and everything. You don't even do the work no more. All right? For whatever reason, man, you don't do it no more. And how about Shemal Shirach? Oh, that ain't ever my case, man. This is something I'm hoping for. This is something I'm praying for, bro. All right? You can't maintain this on your own. This is something that I'm trying to tell you, man. This is something... From Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Only He knows who are the individuals that will endure until the end. And how to, how, like I said, Spirit been dealing with me and really been dealing with me through the apostles and the elders of Yasharala, mainly through GMS. Enduring until the end is enduring the word, bro. Enduring what you know and living it and walking in it. Cause it's a whole nother thing from knowledge and wisdom. You can know all day. But if you're not implementing what you know, what's the purpose? Hey, straight like that. What is the point? In fact, it's gonna be worse for you when uh, when that time comes. Because scripture says, scripture says that the Most High is gonna start in His house. I believe that's um Second Peter. Uh. I believe it's 2 Peter chapter 4. Could be wrong. But basically, it, it says, um, uh, dang. Uh, the most high judgment is going to start at his house. And if so, where does the ungodly in the center, where will the ungodly in the center appear? That's some rough to paraphrasing. But basically, it's going to start with individuals who know they Israel and know them, 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 they know Deuteronomy 28, 68. They know Matthew chapter 24. They know Matthew chapter 5. Right? They know the scriptures. But they not, not they're not doing the scriptures. Right? A lot of people ain't doing the scriptures because it's uncomfortable for them. Because their body so used to doing this, that, and the third. They so used to being around this, that, and the third. And they fought it for as long as they could, but ultimately it wasn't enough because it wasn't sincere for real. It was more so like, man, I done told all these folk that they not supposed to do this and they not supposed to do that. But dang, I want to do that. <laughs> so now I gotta, I gotta, you know, dig into the scriptures and find a loophole. They tell me I can do these things that I like to do. Then you get somebody that's teaching it, and it's a wrap. All right? Now you got a problem with camps. And a camp is the thing that woke you up in the first place. A camp is the thing that gave you knowledge in the first place. Because, yeah, you had individuals that were making documentaries and things of such, but they weren't going in depth with the scriptures. The documentaries was more so uh, geared toward Deuteronomy 28, Isaiah 42, you know what I'm saying, where it talk about us being uh, in prison houses, uh, and the curses, in, like I said, the curses in Deuteronomy 28, uh, Matthew Matthew 5, going into, uh, you know, the Most High, not doing away with the law, uh, how about you, I was shy, rather, not doing away uh, with the law, 
but it's limited when it comes to the documentaries. To get real life understanding, you have to be taught by righteous men who have the spirit dealing with them, right? And, and that's a part of grace. You understanding that you have to be taught. You have, it's a bro, it's a spiritual blessing. It's a it's a gift from the Lord to be humble enough to understand that you have to be taught. You know how many how many old heads walking around here proud as hell because they feel like you know what I'm saying. Well, I'm such such years old and you that you whatever age you can't tell me nothing. You know how much of a gift it is to have the humility to say, you know what I I don't know. I could learn. Everybody ain't got that. All right? So, hey, like I said, man, I, it, it's more more, more like a rant, but it's, it's, it's guided, you know. I ain't all over the place. I'm trying not to be because <laughs> I got a lot on my mind. Um, You know, the spirit the spirit been dealing with me, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, call her lawyer. I'm like, how about shooting me how I was shot for it? Because, ooh, we. I don't even want to speak it, bro. I don't even want to speak that, you know. But there's a lot of people out here who the, the spirit ain't dealing with them no more. Meaning once upon a time the spirit was and now it ain't. And that's that's terrifying to me. Right? Especially off of what I know. Right? And yeah. So like I said, man, make sure you run in a good race and make sure you fight in a good fight. And understand that yes, you do, you know, have to keep the laws. You have to keep the word of the most high. Right? But keeping the laws is not going to save you. You have to have faith. Alright? You have to have faith in your house side, man. Alright? Revelation 14, 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the most high and the faith of your house side. Alright? It's straight like that. Alright? Do the work and keep the faith. Alright? So with that, man. Yeah, how about Shema Shah Ratazza, these precepts, or these quoted precepts, and um, you know, this video were edifying. Call Holoyam La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakodash Shalawam Yashallah.